Hi folks, Scott Regan here, Rogue Home Cinema. We're day one on the uh, Auckland project. Uh, we've got a spectacular Dolby Atmos cinematic hi-fi rumpus conversational exciting games room in the middle of this home. So a lot of features, a lot of uh, scope, uh, targets to meet in this project and to integrate this into a beautiful room has been quite the challenge. So between our design input and engineering, the builder, client's vision, the interior designer, we're finally in this room after about three years of starting it. And look, there's more to do. Um, there's still some painting, there's some trim. Um, we've traveled the way it is. Uh, we're probably a few weeks earlier. Um, and unfortunately, the home was held up a bit because of some flooding. So um, we're here though, um, because the electronics are installed, they are connected, and we can test, verify, and calibrate, and ensure that this room is gonna perform as we need and as we expected. So I'll give you a really quick room tour here. Um, I'm going to share a lot more as we go. Um, this is just day one. I'll be here over the weekend um, and be extracting everything we can, all this subtle detail we need for it. So primarily is the seating. So you can see here, big, conversational, abundant seating. And because of the size of the seats and the number of potential audience, it meant that we've squeezed a lot of opportunity to typically put a lot of speakers and sound system and you'll see that the seats are really quite close to the walls which is typically not a great spot to sit for a sound system so the walls here are a stretch fabric beautiful brass inlay detail here and behind this some areas are actually um, a foot or more deep other areas only about 100 mil but what we've managed to achieve is speakers um, the surround sound the acoustics bass trapping, all of these special technical components to make sure that we've got great spaciousness, but clear focus, and without that boomy, muddy effect that typically occur in the room. So with the bass, we've got the Wilson uh, Sophia speakers that are existing, and we managed to find another Wilson Santa channel. So we've got the LCRs with this beautifully matched Wilson front stage. And these speakers are pretty serious. They go down to you know 20 hertz, full depth bass. So we're gonna use those for cinematic bass. And quad bass are great because we can counteract the bass waves, which build up and get pretty rumbly. And of course, there's really no room, even with the walls having 100 mil or so extra depth, no room for a significant sub. So we've actually put subwoofers in the back corners, sort of opposing the big tower speakers and that's going to be the big big element with uh, this session is calibrating and, and tuning the subwoofers at the back to the front uh, speakers and we can use those subs in both two-channel and multi-channel we've got a dedicated two-channel pre-out multiple pre-outs and we've got a cinema processor and we're going to be using a mini dsp box to input select between the two and we can have our own dsp and control of the subwoofers based on two-channel and multi-channel. So there's a bit of work to do there. Um, and that's sort of part of the secret source of being able to have the seating the way it works and um, the base the way we want it as well. So nice two-channel hub happening here, record player, vinyl, more vinyl to come. Um, they literally only just kind of moved in. There's a lot of trade still around the house. Um, obviously my stuff's everywhere. So can't wait to get the pro photo shoot later on uh, when this room's looking beautiful. So yeah, this gives you a pretty good scope of the AV. Um, do you have TV, projection screen, projector, Atmos overhead speakers, grills to be painted, and the rear sub. So a lot going on. Another whole rack of equipment as well in the other room interconnecting. So. A lot of moving parts and the automation team here will be coordinating this into a nice easy, easy to use remote control until then i've got lots of remotes lots of apps lots of laptops to get everything going and tuned up the way we want so day one um it's going to be testing doing the final connections and um yeah by tomorrow we'll actually start getting some results out of this one um after that calibrating the video uh, both the tv and the projection system and Having some good time in here as well. I think by Saturday night, we'll be um, enjoying a whiskey and enjoying uh, the results 
um, and any final tweaks can maybe happen on Sunday before heading home. So there you have it. Um, a beautiful Terry architecture mixed with a whole range of technology, massive team, really cool to be here. We'll um, show up again and give you guys more as it happens. See ya.